very, very big um, events that we're having today. I think we are taking a step forward in the world of digitalization and technology um, to make sure that you know we are at par with you know other players in society. So I think where NFTs are concerned, this is a start for us. You know, there's always room for growth and improvement. Um, where Miss Universe Malaysia is concerned, we are going to be, you know, what, what kind of um, events we're going to have after this is that we're going to be having our gala on the 28th of July, 2022. You know, we've had a hiatus for about two years and you know, we, we're, we're very excited to have that gala happen again physically and all, I'm sure all of you will be there at um, the location that we're going to be disclosing. Um, each NFT carries specifically five roles. Uh, so anybody who purchases one of those 10,000 NFTs uh, ultimately contributes five votes to the bill. And we will then tally up the amount of sales that they have actually made. And we will just multiply by five to get the voting numbers. And that will come to a score that is within the Miss Universe scoring uh, and valuation by the judges and all that stuff as well. Um, the Competition series, which is the auction NFT, uh, that's only one NFT per girl, and it'll be auctioned off. So, because of its rarity, because it's only one of a kind, um, once somebody actually buys that, the girls, the contestants, will actually gain. Uh, we haven't actually finalized the actual number, but it will be in the magnitude of three digit or four digit vote count, and that's a lot. So, it could actually literally shake up you know, the ranking. Uh, of the girls within the competition itself. Uh, somebody could be a back runner, but because somebody else has purchased that auction and they might just jump up, you know, to be in the top five or top four or something like that. So that's where it gets very interesting for this year because the NFTs will be partially powering, um, you know, who, be, who gets to be the last three finalists or maybe even come back as a wildcard entry, uh, you know, the, the last four.